Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on indices rules. This is a direct extension from Powers and Roots, so if you've not seen the Powers and Roots videos then I recommend you watch those first because uh, we go through the first of the seven rules in those videos. Uh, but otherwise let's continue and we'll look at fractional powers now. So this is where we have a to the power m over n, uh, where m over n is obviously a fraction. Uh, so this is equal to the nth root of a to the power of m. Uh, so excuse my handwriting there, that's an m in blue there. Uh, so uh, this might look confusing at first. Uh, usually we use this to describe square roots and cube roots. So for instance, a to the half is equal to the square root of a to the power one, uh, which is obviously just equal to the square root of a. Uh, we can also say the same for cube roots. We'll write them as a third or a power of one third. That's equal to the cube root of a to the one, which is just the cube root of a because anything to the one is just itself. Uh, but if we take this expression, uh, a to the m over n, let's just rewrite it here, a to the power m over n. We can also write this in a different form. We can write this as the nth root of a, and then we can write this all to the power of m. Uh, so it doesn't matter which order you write this in, you should get the same value. Uh, but what you should do is you should try and use the uh, expression or perform the operations in the order that's going to make the calculation as simple as possible. So when we move on to look at some examples, it should become clear uh, what I mean by this. So moving on to rule nine then, this is multi-step fractional powers. This is essentially just an extension of rule number eight. So if we have an example, 64 to the power two over three. Uh, so in this instance, the numerator is uh, bigger than one. Uh, so this is multi-step at this point. So we can rewrite this expression as the cube root of 64 squared. Uh, now, this is obviously quite a difficult calculation to perform because we don't really want to be squaring 64. It's going to be quite a large number. Uh, so instead, uh, let's rewrite this expression. So we can rewrite this as uh, the cube root of 64 or all in brackets and then squared on the outside. So uh, the value of this is the same as the expression above, uh, but using the brackets and uh, the rules of Bibmass, it makes the calculation much simpler because we're just doing the, the cube root of 64 and then squaring that result rather than uh, squaring 64, which is gonna be a much larger value. So uh, what's the cube root of 64? Well, uh, it's four and I'll show you why. So four times four equals 16. Uh, so 16 times 4 equals 64. So uh, let's use the first two lines here and just say that 4 times 4 times 4, which is equal to 4 cubed, is equal to 64. So uh, the cube root of 64 is therefore 4. So we can write this expression as 4 squared, and 4 squared is equal to 16. Uh, so 64 to the power 2 over 3 is equal to 16.